So this is a personal story about goals. The topic of goals actually came up to me when I was uh, listening to Jim Knight during TLC 2018, a conference that I attended. And Jim was talking about setting goals for teachers and educators and coaches and how it all works together. And one of the things that he mentioned as an example was how he uh, thinks about setting a goal for himself to do a Boston Marathon. And I started thinking about, like, what are the goals that I've set for myself? And uh, how do I go about achieving these goals? And kind of what is, what is the relevance to my life and goals? And one of the things that I thought of was um, um, I got into triathlons and, and was thinking, how did, I, how did I get there? So uh, it all started with a friend of mine, Eugene. We've been friends for a long time, uh, ever since high school. And he's a swimmer. Um, and we do a lot of things together, like uh, camping, backpacking. And at some point, he started telling me that he would like to do triathlon. Um, and it started with maybe some texts where every time he would bring it up, I would say no, no, no. Uh, but he's a persistent guy, and so he, uh, he really wanted to do it. And so he eventually talked me into uh, getting me to let me think about it. And, and when we all say let me think about it, it's, uh, sometimes it's uh, pointed around assessing where we are, and sometimes it's coming up with excuses of why we shouldn't do the things that people are asking us to do. So I thought about it and running uh, as part, one part of the triathlon. Uh, I haven't really done, by 2015, it's been three years since I've done triathlon or done any kind of running. This is my actual run keeper uh, graph where I was pretty active in kind of 2010, 2012, but haven't done anything in three years. Um, I've never done any races. Uh, my best race uh, was Beta Breakers, where if anyone done Beta Breakers, there's a lot more nakedness and beer drinking than actual competition. And um, since I wasn't feeling very positive, I never would have described myself as a, as a runner. Uh, this is my biking experience. Um, also, you know, I had a bike, and with my kids, I would go biking once in a while. Uh, this is particular one in Colorado where I fell in a flat spot uh, to much joy of my kids who always never miss an opportunity to make fun of their dad, um, skiing, biking, anywhere where I can make a fool of myself. But that, that was the extent of my uh, bicycling experience, so not really uh, bicycling. Um, not really a swimmer. I grew up in Odessa, Ukraine, which is by the close of Black Sea, so I could swim, I could stay afloat. Um, not really any kind of distance swimming, um, maybe the biggest distance I've swam, maybe 50 yards, maybe 100 yards, but really not a comfortable at swimming on a competitive level. And in fact, uh, probably about two years before 2015, when Eugene asked me to participate in a triathlon, I, I tried to swim in Hawaii, and, and I thought I was going to die because I really underestimated my own abilities. And so it was still really fresh with me. So not the swimmer. Um, lastly, there's this. Um, open water swimming, everybody knows there's sharks. Uh, it's really dangerous. So in my mind, I wasn't really prepared for the, any kind of a situation like that. But I just turned 40. Uh, Eugene was very persistent. And so I decided that I can do it. I can try it out. And I'm going to think about it really hard how to do it. So we picked Santa Cruz Sprint Triathlon. Uh, pretty straightforward, 750-meter uh, swim, 20K bike ride, 5K run. Um, it's the shortest triathlon you can do. My son later on calls it a baby triathlon to, to make me feel better about what I'm doing. But this is really the, the goal, and this is, what, um, this is what we had to do. So to solve that goal and try to kind of get to where I would be comfortable doing it, I decided to apply the Martian strategy, the Martian, the book. Uh, first step is calm down, you know, relax, it's doable, lots of people do it, all is going to be okay. Then identify the hardest challenge. Uh, where am I the weakest at? Uh, break it down to the small pieces and really get to focusing on systematically solving them and going to the final goal by putting all of those little pieces together. Uh, just in case you're wondering, swimming was the thing that I was worried about the most. 
Um, I, I've looked at a lot of videos of people learning how to swim and, and, and really focus, broke it down, learned how to breathe, started practicing on a regular basis, uh, went out of water, open water swim to get comfortable with uh, uh, dark water, um, and in the end really decided I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get there. I started swimming a little bit more every day, eventually getting to half a mile. And one of the things that really helped is the videos that I found on how to psych myself up. To accomplish something extraordinary, one must have an extraordinary dream. A goal so high, a journey so demanding, that its achievement to most seems impossible. So, building it up in pieces. I, I, we went together, we got two sports done. We've done, uh, I borrowed a bike from Brian, my friend. I borrowed a wetsuit. I worked getting up to 5K and, and really worked on getting to just surviving one full triathlon, slow transition, not paying attention to anything like that. So finally, the day has come. Uh, I swam. Uh, this is me running out of the water. Uh, I look happy. In reality, I thought that this is the hardest and most challenging thing I ever done. All of the training, all of the preparation was completely out the window. I started out way too hard, way too fast, run out of energy, had to stop and start thinking about breathing and um, people around you going really fast and really aggressive. Um, I am walking out here with some uh, uh, women athletes. Uh, they started five minutes after us, so mm -hmm. they were finishing around the same time as I was finishing. Uh, but I was happy the stage was over. I was thinking, this is my Achilles heel, and this is where I have to really shine. So I was done with that. And this is the first time where a thought uh, came in my mind that maybe I will finish this. I think there is a, there is a way out. Um, I biked. Uh, not a problem again, uh, two loops, six miles each. Again, went way too hard, burned all of the energy I had, and then had to slow down, uh, get my breathing together. And uh, when I got off the bike, I almost fell over because my we my legs were completely weakened. Um, and the running, um, again, this is the finish line. I'm almost there. I'm feeling the, the burn in my legs. Um, it was the slowest running I've ever done, but... Uh, I was done. Um, Eugene was there to greet me. Um, he finished before me. Um, it was, again, I was happy I was done. It was the hardest thing ever. My kids were there to greet me. Uh, but it was done, and, and I completed it, and I achieved my goal. And so much, I liked it so much that uh, 2016, I, you know, we did it again. Uh, and then in 2017, we did it again. By this point, we have actually not everyone's picture, but we actually pulled in another six people with us. Uh, and I did it one more time in 2018. So by this point, I'm feeling much more positive about the whole experience and actually enjoying the process and enjoying uh, doing this sport. Uh, some of the lessons I learned, um, obviously, as you're preparing for all of those things, you get to learn a lot about other aspects of it other than running and swimming and biking. You learn about hydration of food. You learn how to transition. Uh, how to get even pacing, open water swimming was very important to kind of get to that comfort where mentally you're not thinking about drowning every stroke. You're actually thinking about the end goal. Um, and one of the other things that I learned from Jim Knight is it's always uh, good to show some commercials to to let people know how you felt. And so. Hi, my name is Wes. Swim starts to be pretty brutal at times. I've always had the motto that you need to train the way you race, and that's why I'm trying to simulate what it's like in, in a race situation. <laughs> It does feel like that sometimes. Um, what I learned for myself is setting a goal actually drives my behavior. It drives how I prepare. It drives the things that I do. Uh, 26, 2015 was uh, the first time I did it. I just wanted to finish. 2016, actually, I set no goals. I, I kind of went into it with a, pretty much the same preparation, did as well as before. 
And really after that decide, I'm going to set some goals, I'm going to try to get better from year to year and, and actually explicitly measured and set goals, which then drove my training, drove my preparation and drove my achievement. So I was actually able to get pretty close to my goals and, and uh, learn a lot about myself in the process. Um, preparation is key, but uh, don't get injured. Uh, this is, uh, again, a graph from my runkeeper where, like, 2017, I was doing a lot of preparation, and I, I, I hurt myself, hurt my knee, and uh, I had to actually stop training for a while, do physical therapy. By the way, physical therapy is another area where they really focus around goals. When you get into physical therapy, the first thing he tells you, you'll always have pain. I'm just going to teach you to manage pain, but what are your goals? What do you want to achieve? Do you want to... Uh, get back to the way you were doing, or do you want to achieve better results, or do you want to have a quality of life? So all of those things are important, and again, goal-oriented preparation. Um, one of the things I learned, uh, how to fight sharks. I said advice to everyone, you know, do it very carefully, but totally possible. Um, last few things I learned about myself in the process is I can't be obsessive. My friends joke now that I am pushing them more to do stuff around triathlon. Eugene is at this point kind of pushing back at me. It's like, yeah, 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 I'm going to do it, but, you know, just take it easy, Vlad. Um, goals help me stay focused and stay oriented. Uh, I really like the social engagement. So doing it with friends is actually very helpful. Uh, Jim mentioned that sometimes setting goals as a group can be difficult, but I actually found it very uh, helpful for me where I have others who are doing the same thing with, with me. Here's some of my next goals. Um, I'd love to do a triathlon somewhere else, for example, in our Kiev office with the, some of our coworkers who are uh, doing a marathon or did a marathon. Uh, I'd like to do a longer distance one. This is the very first Santa Cruz uh, Olympic triathlon. And I'd love to be like that guy at the end. It's, uh, he's on the cover of Money Magazine, 100 years old, still doing a uh, marathon. So, I think one of my long-term goals is to stick, stick with the sport and uh, get better at it. And uh, as a final one, I'll leave you with a meme that I feel a lot of people feel like when I'm doing these type of presentations and conversations. Thank you.